Right. So, so uh, remember, this is just the introduction. We just want to introduce the the thing so that we are all on the same page. Right. So, I would like to hear where where is where from where is who from where is who from one two three you are you are very few you are very few here and think everyone can tell me where are you from where are you from where are you from just real quick where are you from where are you from where are you from where are you from you can type either you can chat you can type in the chat box there or you can just tell us by mouth where you are from right where are you from i would i just i would like to, I would love to know that where are you from so that I know where the majority of you are. That will also help us to, to know how best we can work if ever you. So where are you from? I just want to hear where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Right, let me remove, let me delete this. Right, uh, right. Lauren Albert in Johannesburg. Mm, close. Wonderful. South Africa, Pretoria. Oh, wonderful. Mr. Steve Congo. Okay. Um, social. Oh, I'm Lebukham. Uh, Lebukham from Tlexop, Northwest. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, Ryan Cooper from Zambia. Centurion, Pretoria, South Africa. TI's connection from Zimbabwe, Mr. Terence. I'm still from Johannesburg in CBD. Mm, close. All these that are, that are close, I, I believe. South Africa. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Right. It seems, it seems uh, the majority. The majority is 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 South African. Is South Africa, South Africa, South Africa. It seems the majority is South Africa. Uh, Centurion Klein from Pretoria. Pretoria, Nelspruit, Mpumalanga, South Africa. Mm. A lot of South Africa here. Right, wonderful. Uh, that's a good thing. It's a good thing for us to know where you are from because it will help us also to help you, especially those that are close. Hi, everyone. I mean, where are you from? Mm, wonderful. <laughs> I'm in South Africa right now. I'm in South Africa. I'm in Johannesburg. I'm in Bedford View. Bedford View, Johannesburg. Uh, who is this? Who is this? Right. So just to re repeat what I what we just said, we we fully explained that this is can you please mute your mics? I don't know whoever is making noise. Mute your mic if you know that there's noise where you are, right? If you keep on disturbing others, we have to remove you. We don't have a choice. Right. So as we were saying that this is a beginner's mentorship. What we mean by beginners mentorship, we are, we are starting from scratch for someone who doesn't know anything concerning trading. If you know nothing about trading, if you know nothing about trading, you are supposed to be here. Uh, if also you, you, you claim to know something, <laughs> if also you claim to know something, you can also be here so that you verify whatever knowledge that you claim to know. Because there are people who, who think they now know, yet... Uh, the knowledge that they have it's 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 still corrupted knowledge that is that still has a lot of loopholes so it's a beginner's mentorship there are things that i will not cover yes since the beginners there there are things that i will not cover but there are also things that will cover those things that are we are we're going to cover are things that are capable of helping you to kickstart your trading journey what we anticipate and what we expect from everyone who is here uh before the year end you are supposed to be knowing what forex trading is you're supposed to be understanding what is going on in trading you must you are supposed to be knowing how to analyze uh with the way that we're going to show you obviously uh you are supposed to be able to take trades on your own take trades on a demo we, we don't encourage you to start on a real account if it's if, if you're a beginner start on a demo a demo is simply this is not real money 
It's simply virtual money that uh, that you are given that you can practice whatever practice that you want to, to, to practice on. So you can, that's, that's where you start. So we're going to explain all of those. So everything that we're going to share with you here is meant to kickstart your trading journey and make sure that uh, you kick st you start 2024 with an understanding of what forex trading is, what what it is, what we do in forex trading, how money is made, how money is lost in trading. That's the basic knowledge and basic understanding that we're going to be giving you here, right? So in today's first, remember this is the first episode. So um, our episodes are going to be quite long, quite long in the sense of uh, remember we are trying to help you as much as possible so after each end of the session we can ask a few questions based on that session before we close it so that is why they are going to be uh, quite long like that so in today's episode i want to let me see if i can go to my right so the first question that i want to ask everyone who is here is where did you hear about forex trading where did you hear about forex trading? How did you hear about forex trading? Um, what inspired you to to want to know forex trading? That's my question. If you can answer that one, we can move on to whatever discussions that are going to to happen. Where did you hear about forex trading? What inspired you to learn forex trading or to join forex trading? Um. Yeah, talk to me. I, I I want to hear. I want that question to be answered first before we proceed. Uh, because that is a very, very key thing. You realize as we go on, you realize that uh, that question, it's a question that is not just a question. It's a question that you, it can also determine how long you're going to be in the game. The answer that you're going to give on that particular question that we asked who told you about forex trading? Where did you hear about forex trading? What inspired you to want to learn about forex trading? That's the question. You can answer there in the chat box. I think in the chat box it's way it's much better there because if we say open your mic, some of you might not you might not give us um right. So you can answer there in the chat in the chat box there. You can give your answers in the chat box. Where did you hear about forex trading? Where did you hear about forex trading? What inspired you to join forex trading? What what is it that why why why? That's the, that's the real question here. Where did you hear about trading? Uh, social media. Okay, on YouTube I was searching for how to make money online. I currently unemployed. Wonderful. Okay, okay, that's a good thing. Mm, others, uh, I'm still waiting for your responses to that. Right. Uh, mm, okay. Um. Let me read this on YouTube. Forex came to liberate us, most Africans, cause we are hit with poverty, like no man's business. Wonderful. On YouTube to be my side hustle. Okay. Okay. Uh, on YouTube from a friend has shown me this right where uh, I have to able to end from home. I heard it from the course. I was doing a coaching spread to sit my body in there. So this is my purpose. My friend has introduced me to Forex trading and said you can make a constant income from it. Wonderful. I was introduced by my half-brother. I was introduced by my half-brother in 2019. I wanted for freedom from working hard 9 to 5 and work from home. The white guy who resigned it to work because... I was making 3x more. Mm. I heard about it from my brother back in 2018. Mm. Wonderful, wonderful. I like most of the responses here. Uh, most of the responses, they are not bad. They are okay. They are okay. Most of the responses that you guys are giving, they are okay. After being scammed from Bitcoin investment, wonderful. We're going to talk. We are going to talk about a lot of things. Uh, we're going to talk about all, all of those. There are also things that I'm going to talk about. Uh, that will. Uh, most people, the most of the guys who might be doing whatever things that we'll talk about here, they might not be happy when we. 
talk about some of those things. That issue, issue of investments, issue of what, what, crowdfunding, what, what, account management, all of that. <laughs> those things, they that's not forex trading. The real forex trading, you don't have to give anyone your money. For a friend, back in 2021 at school, social media, I believe, with the proper knowledge industry. Wonderful. Right. Wonderful. Right. I can see most of your answers. Most of your answers. Right. <laughs> Right. Okay. So most of the answers they are okay. Nothing is wrong with your answers, right? So you realize now that you realize now that where you head forex trading from it also determines also uh and even the agenda with which you come to trading for. Obviously, the agenda might not might, might change as time goes on. Like someone who said, uh, as a, I want to use it as a side hustle, you can come with that agenda. But once you begin to gain knowledge and understanding of the market and start making money, you can actually divert from it being a side hustle up until it actually can get to the point of becoming your main hustle. So what I want you to understand now is I'm not going to waste much of your time uh, on this course because I'm going to give you things that I know. Once you use and apply whatever we're going to talk about here, we expect you to actually start forex trading, to actually start your journey. If ever you had noticed, you had not yet started, we expect you to start. If ever you had started and you are still experiencing some hurdles along the way, we are also going to address all of that. So, this is a course this is a free this is a this is a, a beginner's mentorship that is also good as, as i said for someone even who claims to know if you claim to say i think i know it's also good for you because it refreshes your knowledge and also refreshes some areas where you need uh maybe where you might have forgotten or where you might have thought you knew or you or where you missed depending on now where where you learned forex trading because where you learned Forex trading also determines how much you learned and also how deep they went in terms of educating you about forex trading. Right. So, first things first. What you need to understand is uh, trading. the 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 real thing here, the real term that 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 we must be talking about is trading. That's the real. The, 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 that's the topic, trading. It's not only forex trading because there are so many kinds of trading. So many kinds of trading. I, I'm going to I'm going to describe them just now in a bit. Right. So the real uh discussion here is on trading, 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 trading like this, trading. Right. So Trading, basically trading, in simple terms, trading is simply buying and selling, right? So buying and selling now, that's where now it's, it's, it's distributed into so many other industries now. That's where Forex trading comes in. Forex trading is, is buying and selling, but buying and selling at a different level. We also have stock trading. Stock trading like this. We also have uh, futures trading. We also... So you realize now that we also have crypto, crypto trading. Right. So you begin now to realize that even that buying and selling that people are doing, whether physically, whether you're buying or selling whatever goods that you're selling, you are trading, even though our kind of trading is different from yours. So now, this is where forex trading and all these other forms of trading differ from the majority of the trading that you are used to. The majority of the trading that you are used to, I'm referring to any form, any other form of trading that doesn't fall under these this four categories, right? Those other ones, you need, what you need to make money, you need clients, right? You need clients, you need to make sales. 
uh, you need uh, suppliers, people who supply you with your goods that you'll be selling. Um, you are more active, more active physically because you'll be selling, remember? Um, so there, there are so many processes that are involved in this other in this other sector of trading that most of you are, are used to. So where forex trading, stock trading, futures trading, or crypto trading, where they differ now from that one is you don't need all of that to make money. You don't need clients to make money. You don't need to make any sales to make money. You don't need any suppliers. You don't need to be more active physically to make money. Because forex trading, you are doing it on the chart. They, I obviously will talk about that as time goes on. You are doing it on the chart, on your laptop, on your phone, on your desktop, whatever. You are seated. You are seated. You are there on your chart, on your screen. You are analyzing data. And you are using that data to make certain decisions whether to buy or to sell. So, the misconception that most of the people who don't know, especially, remember, these are beginners. Uh, we are starting from the from the bottom, bottom, the bottom pit. So the misconception that people have, people as well, one or not traders, and also people who wish to 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 join trading, but because of those misconceptions, they don't join. So they don't start it. So it's not like you are joining anyone. When we say join forex trading, you are not joining anyone, but you are joining the industry as a whole. It's like saying. Join music. We're not saying go and join any particular band or what. You're simply joining the entire industry as a whole, right? But joining the entire industry as a whole like that, when you now go to maybe a certain organization, a certain company, what you're simply there, you're simply going there for for for, for community basis, basis uh, uh, for also just for the aspect of having a family of like-minded people that are also in the same industry as you. So don't misconcept that and think that you need to, to, to do all of that in order for you to make money in trading. No. So the biggest misconception, as I said, is whereby people, they think that you have to have a certain product that you are buying or selling. Most of the people, you, you tell them, I'm doing forex trading. So they ask, so where do I, where do I change my, my, my runs to dollars? Where do I do th so they think it, they think you have to take your physical money, put it to go and change buy dollars, change dollars buy pounds, change pounds physically. No, 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 no. You don't do. We don't do like that. So what is happening now is these forex trading, stock trading, futures trading, and crypto trading. They fall under what we call a decentralized network, whereby you don't need to physically exchange that money. So what 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 central banks have managed to do is to create like this this platform where uh currencies, right? Where currencies, currencies, currencies they fall under forex trading, right? Stocks they fall under stock trading. Futures under futures, crypto under all your bitcoins, your Ethereum, what what they fall under crypto trading. So what they've managed to do is to create this platform, which is the Forex market, where currencies are exchanged, right? They're exchanged there online. They're exchanged there online. You are, you are exchanging that money online, right? And that exchange, you're not doing it with, let's say you need, a, you need to exchange it with someone physically. Like, no, you're not doing that. They have created this market. That market, you do all what you are. If you want to buy, buy the euro against the dollar, you can do it there. If you want to sell the euro against the dollar, you can sell it there, right? So that's that's the difference now between forex trading and all these other industries. The good part about it is that uh, it's you. It's basically you. It's you against you. It's yourself against yourself because. It's yourself against what you know and what you don't know. That's the good part about Forex trading now. That's why you can work from home. You can work from anywhere in the world. 
you can you can you you can you can you can do a lot of things in forex trading. There's a lot of freedom, not only financial freedom. There's also a freedom of time, uh, in in forex trading. You can actually work from anywhere, right? So that's the difference, the first major difference. So the next thing that that we now need to know now. On these four four kinds of uh, trading that I've spoken about. Forex trading, stock trading, futures trading, crypto trading. Someone might ask, so which one now should I do? Which one should I do? Should I? So there now uh, we now need to go into the into the into the numbers now. When you go into the numbers, you realize that the biggest of all these markets, right? This is forex trading market, forex market, stock market, futures market, crypto market. The biggest, you realize that forex market is the biggest market that is there in the world. It's bigger than stock than the stock market. It's bigger than the futures. It's also bigger than this. So the forex market is the biggest. Why is it the biggest? The biggest is the biggest because we have been using fiat currencies for so many years now, ever since. Uh, ever since the monetary policies came in, we have been using uh, our our fiat currencies. I'm talking about your international currencies, your your euros, your pounds, your dollars, your rands. We have been using them for years now. So you you, you using them for years now. It simply means the market has been increasing and increasing and growing in size each and every single day. That's why it's the biggest market that is there, right? So it being the biggest market. Each and every single day, roughly, it is estimated to transact six trillion dollars. Six trillion dollars are estimated to be transacted each and every single day from the forex market only. So you realize that you can actually make a decision just from the numbers, just from the numbers. There, you can actually make a decision to say, okay, so I, 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 I might not focus on this. I might not focus on this. I might also not focus on this. So now. As now, my advice now is you start here, Forex trading. Once you understand what is going on, what is happening, once you start making money, right? Crypto, crypto, it's a very, very, it's an upcoming market that is so, 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 so. It, it, it's very serious because there's a lot of money there and also bit by bit, different countries are beginning to adopt crypto. So, once you quickly understand forex trading, you can either start to also trade crypto. If you don't trade it, you can actually utilize whatever gains that you're getting from forex to also start investing that side, right? So it's just that's just a, a, a simple tip that I'm giving you, so that even as we go on, uh, you realize that you might not need to. So, someone might say, I don't need to become a crypto trader. Yes, it's okay. But investing in crypto, the same thing with investing in crypto, you don't need to give anyone your money. Crypto, the crypto market, it's a decentralized market. A decentralized market, it's a market where there is no one who is in charge there. It's a market that is governed by, uh, like the guys who made, who, who, who created the whole the whole system, the whole, the, the whole thing, it's so transparent. All the transactions that happen, they can actually be traced. They can actually, everyone can actually see each and every single transaction that is happening, but you can't trace where it's coming from, where it's going. Uh, the good part about it is there is no restrictions like the restrictions that we get from banks. Right. So, crypto, we will talk much about crypto in the next, uh, I think crypto will talk about it last, 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 last day once we are done with everything else right so we erase everything else now we want to focus where on forex trading because of the numbers we saw because of the numbers that the majority the majority uh the majority the majority the majority uh of money is is circulating there on the forex market which is a good thing now so now the next thing that we now need to know is the next thing that we now need to know and understand. Right. Uh, let me just...
Right. Are we together, guys? Are we together? Are you still here? Are you still here? Are you still here? Are, you st are we still together so far? I don't want to lose you anyway. I want us to move together slowly but surely. I want us to move together so, so well so that no one is left behind. Yes, we are together. Yes, yes, yes. Wonderful. Uh, let me share this other one. Whiteboard. Whiteboard. Right. So, yes, Mr. Mike, yes, we are together. Wonderful. Right. So, the next thing now, once you have this understanding, we now need to talk about the myths now that are there in forest training that you might have heard of. Some of the things that you might have heard of about forest training that are not true, right? There are so many things about forest training that, that, that are so, 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 that are pure, pure lies out there. Some of them I, I've spoken about them already, whereby you don't need, you don't need clients, you don't need to make sales to make money, you don't need to give anyone your money to make money. Right. So, some of the myths about forex trading, uh, some of them we've spoken about them. I won't repeat them. Uh, some of them, uh, someone can come and say forex trading is a scam. That's a myth that is just coming from. I'll show I'll 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 show you where the scam part of that person who said it's a scam uh, would have came from. Uh, get rich quick scheme. That's another. That's that's another uh, myth. Another one is uh whereby you need to start with a lot of money. That's another myth, very serious one, which can actually, that, that can actually discourage someone from starting Forex trading. Uh, someone might, they, they are certain other funny myths like you need to, 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 to understand uh, mathematics to, to, for, to, to trade or you need to be smart book smart or whatever to no 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 there's nothing like that there are so many other funny funny myths so these are some of the myths the lies that are that are being said out there obviously because of people of less understanding the scam part of thing this one it comes out of a lack of understanding when you start when you jump into the forex market and you don't get an opportunity like this one where you are you are being told what is this what is that what is not what is what is that so when you don't get that platform or that opportunity like this you you can easily fall prey to any scammer who might be in the industry so the industry itself the forex industry itself it's purely 100 percent clean it's not a scam the industry is not a scam i think i've explained right so what is a scam who is a scam now a scam now is someone who is in the industry. Right? This is someone in the industry here. There's someone in the industry. That person in the industry is taking advantage of people without knowledge. That's why not having knowledge, you, you are at a, a serious danger. Not having knowledge and being desperate for money. Those two are a very, 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 a very dangerous combination because you are desperate, you want money, you are desperate, and you lack knowledge. It's better for you to lack money, but at least you have knowledge. It's better to not to have money or to be desperate for money, but at least you have knowledge, right? At least you can't be scammed. But when you don't have when you are desperate and you don't have knowledge as well. So what what these guys do now? These guys, these guys are in the industry. And these guys, most of them. Most of them, 98%, if not 99%, they are not really uh they are not really traders. When I'm saying traders, I'm referring, I'm referring to professional traders, someone who has been in the industry, who knows what they are doing, who is making money for themselves, who is they are not really uh so what what these guys do now. You realize now by the by the time we finish this mentorship, most of the things that you might ever hear, most of the things that you even hear about about trading from someone, someone either who lacks understanding or someone who is also a part of the scammers, you can easily pick it up now. You can easily pick it up, which is a good thing now. So what these guys do, they take advantage of your desperacy and also your lack of knowledge. 
tell you, give me this money. Give me 1,000 rand. I'll give you 5,000 rand in five days. <laughs> give me give me this. I'll give you this in what, what? These guys, they, they are taking advantage of your lack of knowledge, right? They know you know that forex trading is money based on the, the lifestyle that you see or whatever that you, you have been told or seen, right? Forex traders do. So they take advantage of that. They say, give us this money, we'll give you this. In, a, in this, in, That's a scam. They, who is a scam? Is the person, not the industry. So the danger of someone now who has been scammed now, when now you come and tell them forex trading is not, is not a scam, those are the same people that will go around preaching and telling everyone else that forex trading is a scam. I was scammed. Look at this. They can even give you screenshots of transactions that they did. I invested this, I invested this, I invested 1,000 rand, I invested 10,000 rand, I invested this. And some of them, they are even way smart now. Where they are smart, let me let, let me show you something now. Where they are smart is, they can even create a network like this, a network of scammers. There's person 1, person 2, person 3, person 4, person 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right, so what they do now, the one here who is in charge is this one. This one in charge, what they do, this one is the one that will be pushing the agenda, right? So what he does, he, this one and this one, these are all syndicates that are being used by this one. So he will give you proof. He can, th these guys can go as far as creating groups, WhatsApp groups, Telegram groups. Put, you see a lot of people will be packed in those groups, right? So those people, most of them, they are the syndicates now that are being used there. So those syndicates, what they do is you actually see this syndicate investing. They can give you proof. This one invested, this one invested, he invested, 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 invested. And they can also give you proof that they got back their money or they got their return. Proof is there, proof is there, but don't forget, this is all their money. They can gather 100,000 rand, all of them like this. Then that 100K is distributed amongst the syndicates, right? If this syndicate invests 1,000 rand, he's just taking from here. If he invests 10,000 10, rand, he's taking from here. Once he takes from there, then if you do whatever we do, if we claim to say we trade, we trade, right? We claim to say we trade, we trade, right? After we do that, in that five days, you see us giving him his 50,000, his 5,000. So, that the more you see those proofs being shown to you, the more you are now being convinced that this is true. It works. That is how most of you have been trapped before. That is how they have been trapping you. If you have not yet been trapped, this is how they can, this is, the, this is how they are trapping people. This is how they can also trap you if ever you have not yet been trapped. So be aware of be so careful about this. Forex trading, you don't give anyone your money. Even the brokers, those are not people. I, I don't regard brokers as people. We'll talk about brokers later on in the next episodes, obviously. Though I those are not that's not a, a person. These are it's actually a, an organization that is regulated, that has been tried and tested, and they've they've fully verified that. Once you put your funds through this broker, which is through this company, you can easily trade, you can easily access the Forex market through them. Right? So in the next episode, I will be talking about now how, how now you now can start to approach the Forex market. Remember, you don't need anyone to trade for you to make money in Forex trading. So this is how scammers are doing. Once they've done that so many times, people, they get scammed. Once, once you're scammed twice, thrice, you already you have lost hope on the industry. That's the same thing that is happening in crypto. I've, I'm seeing a lot of people being scammed each and, every, each and every single day. Each and every single day, scammers are coming with different methodologies. They, there's also crowdfunding whereby they tell you, let's, let, 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 let's put 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. Uh, all of those are, those are forms of scams. There's also, you hear, once you're you are, you are in the industry, which, which, which already you are, you also come across a term, account management. 
account management, this is where they tell you, give me your account, give me your account, whether it's a hundred dollar account, it's a thousand dollar account, I will trade for you. Once I trade for you, we'll split the profit. Those are different forms of wanting to scam people, right? If you really want to help me, if you are that desperate to help me make money, give me the knowledge. That's 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 something that people 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 they are not so much observant to realize. You are not so much observant to realize that. So, those are different forms of scams that are happening, which are affecting. They are affecting people who come without knowledge, and also the people who wish to come. They are now scared now because of what they are hearing. Forex trading. Let me be honest with you. On this first episode, there is a lot of money here. A lot of it. I don't. I'm not. I'm not hyping you to start or to not start. I'm just telling you the facts as they are. There is a lot of money to be made in forex trading, and this money you make it on your own. On your own, I'm referring to you trading your account. In as much as they can be third parties, which is someone like me, who will come to give you knowledge. Knowledge. Guidance, every form of help that I'll give you, it's in form of knowledge form, not uh, any other way. So that knowledge, you are t you are the one who is taking that knowledge. And what you do, you go and trade your account with that knowledge. Once you trade your account with that knowledge, you expect to see your results, make your money. You see? That's where the, the, the freedom in forex trading comes from. That's so, that's how money is made. You make your own money in forex trading. Even if you gather knowledge from various sources, right? But money, you make it on your own. You don't need to give anyone. Um, you don't need to do that. It's not something that must be done, right? So that's a point that is so key that you must know. So now, having known all of that now, the real question now, the million dollar question now is, where now do we start? Where do we start? What? Where do we start? How do we start? So, the real, the real starting point that I can give is knowledge. Knowledge of the entire thing. The entire thing. What is forex trading? What is this? What is this? What is that? Once you are informed now, that's when you move to the next stage, which is uh, action. Action, you're you're acting based on the knowledge. Acting based on the knowledge. This knowledge must lead you unto action. Right? Once this knowledge leads you unto action, what must follow are results. This is how you're going to, 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 to this is how your entire trading journey uh, is summarized. Most of you now, most people, most people, most of most people that I've seen that I've encountered, you you actually do the opposite. You want to see the results. You actually let me let me rephrase it. Uh, this is uh, it's actually you actually start acting first. <laughs> you start with action. You want to see results. After action is failed, after your results, you, you are not seeing results, you are failing, blame it. That's when you go now to now once you start to inquire. <laughs> you see how distorted this, this formula is. You don't start to act. You don't you don't you don't start to expect to make money. Right now, most of you come and you want to start making dollars. There's nothing wrong with having that desire. It's a good desire, but that desire must not make you to forget the real process that must be followed. The real process that must be followed is whereby you acquire knowledge. The knowledge of the how, the what, the why. What's going on? What's, what's really happening? How is money made? How is money lost? What am I doing? Where am I buying? Where am I selling? What, what a, so, knowledge. That's, right now, this is where I want your entire focus to be right now. Your entire focus, let it be here. Once your entire focus is here, you now need to distribute that knowledge now, applying it 
in form of action. Once you start applying knowledge, after you, after you now have knowledge and you start applying it, the next thing that you must now expect is starting to make money. Not the other way around. Not the other way. It's not the other way around. So if you have ever encountered someone who said forex trading doesn't pay, that person, if he, he, he applied this formula wrongly. He applied this one whereby he started to act, wanting to start to make money without any knowledge. If you ask, if you go back to that person who told you forex trading doesn't pay, go back to them and ask them, what do you know? Okay, tell me what you know about the trading that you say doesn't work. Tell me, the, tell me something. Tell me what you know. Tell me what you know. So they might not even give you anything tangible. Be so careful about such people. Such people can discourage you. In such a, a very abundant industry like this, they can discourage you to even start. Most of you, I'm now, I'm now changing gears now. Most of you, your money is in trading. Your money is in trading. Uh, your opportunities, your opportunity to make good money, serious money, lies in trading. Right? Most of you, you have been desiring to make money online or even just to make money in general, making your own money without having to report to a boss or whatever. And you are you, you are now here, which is a good, good industry. The only thing is the, the corrupted people who are in the industry, some of the corrupted individuals who come in the industry, after they come and experience whatever they experience, they go about distorting and influencing others in a bad way be careful about people who come and spread negative news concerning trading without giving you knowledge of what is really going on even if someone the next time you hear someone saying forex trading is a scam or i was scammed through forex trading go into details ask them to go into details how how did forex trading scam you they will come all the way to all these things, all the things that I, I spoke about. So this is the formula that we're going to be applying. This is the formula that I want you to keep it in your head. If you start making money, let me let me let me mention this point now. If you see yourself experiencing results, start making money, yet you know deep down in your heart, you know that knowledge-wise, there's nothing in your head. Quickly take, take a step back because that money that you are making or that money that you made, it's temporary. It's it's temporary because there's no foundation of knowledge picking it up. So there's what you call beginner's luck. Beginner's luck is just that luck whereby you come, you do whatever you do, then you make some few dollars. Don't make that excite you and think that you don't know how to trade. No, no. Acquire as much knowledge as possible. Have a depth in terms of knowledge. Make sure your knowledge is now deep. You are now fully, fully loaded there in terms of knowledge. Then after, after knowledge has been fully packed, you start applying it and you can now expect the results. You don't do the, the other way around. So we don't want to make this introduction phase in the next episode, we're going to now go into details where we'll talk about uh, the brokers. What is a broker? Who are brokers? Right? So in the next episode, in the next episode, we are expecting everyone to have opened an account. In the next episode, it's opening accounts, demo accounts, obviously, uh, yeah. registering accounts, opening accounts, whatever you want to call it. We'll talk about brokers. What are brokers? We'll talk about the platforms platforms that we use to trade if there are any apps that you need we'll talk about them there we'll also talk about uh how to uh how to start now how to start uh taking trades on your on your demo account so in the next episode we are going to address all all of these three once you address all of these three you expect to move on from there in the next one we'll go deep and deep and deep and deep 
up until you now know how to analyze you now know that i buy here i sell here i sell like this i buy like this so that's how we're going to to happen to to be to be doing things so are we together anyone with a question comment or compliment based on this first introduction phase anyone with anything to say any comment any compliment any question based on what i have said so far Right, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Any question, any comment, any compliment based on what has been said. Let's let's talk, let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. Anyone with a question, comment, or compliment based on what was said? What we what we just spoke about now. Based on that. Anyone with anything to say? Thank you for the knowledge. Wonderful. This is so helpful and informative. Thank you so much. Um, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful. Others, uh, any question, comment, or compliment based on just this first introduction phase? Then like everything is very clear. Thanks for the knowledge. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So others, no question, no comment, no compliment, nothing. Mm. I see you like thank you for taking your time being that shared knowledge. Oh, wonderful, the pang. I see you. Right. So yeah, many people are just thinking, which is okay. So next episode, as I said, we're going to go now. We're now changing the gears, going at least a bit a bit a bit a bit more than what we did today so in the next episode we're expecting a a, a mixture of two theory and practical the, theory and practical theory and practical so we'll be moving like that theory practical theory practical theory practical every theory every theoretical session every theoretical episode must be followed by practical 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 practicals 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 so uh that we're going to create a platform where i'm going to for for the practicals now where each and every beginner who is following us we're going to create a platform for you to practically apply now the knowledge that you have been you have, you have been so we're going to open that platform very soon I was coming about the luck. Uh, it's like you were talking to me, my brother. I'm deleting everything and starting from scratch. Wonderful. You know, starting from scratch is the best thing that you can ever do. If ever you are not seeing any results. Thanks for your knowledge. I have a lot of, I have learned a lot and very knowledgeable. So thank you. With you, I see Forex world differently. Thank you. Wonderful. Right. So guys, see you in the next episode. Definitely our next episode. Mm, depending on the, we are going to see. Tomorrow, definitely tomorrow. Definitely tomorrow we are going to have our uh, episode two because we want to make sure that before you even start celebrating festive season, you now understand what goes on in trading. So that as you celebrate Christmas, not only are you celebrating Christmas, but you're also celebrating that I now I now think I found um a uh, either a side hustle or something that I can start to actually make money from. So you're also celebrating that. So I may have not been here long, but I'm meaning, I have meaning to start off and trading. Yes, wonderful, wonderful. That's a very good decision that you've made. So guys, see you in the next episode. The video will be recorded and will be shared on YouTube for the sake of reference, for those that want to go back and those that also came late. 